from a drone that can deliver blood to a drone that can balance a stick and throw you a ball, there does seem to be no end to what this tech can do. But for as long as we've covered drones, there's always been one major shortcoming, battery power. But all that could be about to change if researchers at Imperial College in London have their way. This drone isn't flying very high and it's not really going to go very far, but it is still very impressive because it has no battery whatsoever. It's getting its power wirelessly from the power transfer pad underneath. So there's no battery, and so I can like stick that underneath just to prove there's no wires. That is wireless charging or wireless power transfer. There, yeah, baby. The breakthrough the team here have made is being able to transfer the power wirelessly over much larger distances than that used in, say, phones or electric this toothbrushes. One of the things that we targeted straight away was the fact that we wanted to get large distance. So we weren't just trying to do the toothbrush charging or the phone charging where you're in contact with the charging pad. And fundamentally, to do that, you need to operate the system at much higher frequency. But in order to get this system to be efficient, you've got to go up in frequency by a factor of 10 or 100. Um, and that's really a challenge. And while you wouldn't really want a drone that doesn't have a battery, being able to recharge one wirelessly on remote charging stations could mean a lot more flying time. One of the things that will make a huge difference to people is the ability to recharge medical implants using this technology. So we're particularly interested in ventricular assist devices where a small pump is placed into the heart if you have a weak heart muscle. At the moment, those systems require a wire to puncture through the skin to supply data and power into the system. The data you've been able to transfer wirelessly for a long time, but the fact that we can now transfer power wirelessly means that any infection that would travel through that puncture in the skin could be completely avoided. But in the near future, Paul can see these small drones being used by the military for surveillance, recharging from base stations, or even being recharged in the air by other larger drones. That is, as long as they can actually stay airborne.